Hi, this is Dave Habib from Groundwire, and I'm going to demonstrate for you some new features I've been working on for the next version of Volunteers for Salesforce. Specifically, the features I want to show you have to deal with recurring jobs and signing people up for a recurring, uh, a recurring job. So let's, uh, let me do a, a quick demo. So here's our, norm, our normal job tab. We'll create a new job. I'm going to call this guy job one and we'll say it happens every week and so we'll go ahead and save that job you'll notice that on the jobs uh, detail page we've got two new related lists one called job recurring schedules and one is volunteer recurrent schedules so the job recurrent schedules are a way to say hey I want this job to uh, keep recurring on this schedule and the schedule will be used to create shifts so let's go ahead and create a recurrent schedule so let's say we want this job to be available every Monday every week you know starting uh, on the first we'll say it's for 8 30 a.m. Uh, we can have an optional end date, but if we wanted to always continue into the future, we can leave that blank. We'll say it's a, up to a four-hour shift, and ideally we'd have six people. So when we save that recurrent schedule, you'll see that the system automatically creates shifts for our job. And if we go ahead and look at the shift calendar, you'll now see that we've got these shifts uh, that appear uh, every week going into the future and defaultly the system will do 12, 12 months into the future and there's a custom setting where you can change it if you want it to be more or less so let's go back to that job and now let's sign up someone let's say we've got a volunteer who plans to come in every other Monday so let's uh, pick a volunteer um, let's say starting last week they were gonna come in at 9 a.m. so they don't have to come in exactly at the right time and they're only gonna hang out for two hours uh, they're gonna come on Monday but it's gonna be every other weekend and you have a choice of like do you want the system to automatically mark their hours as confirmed or a prospect or completed etc so let's just say they're confirmed we'll save this so now we'll see for this volunteer recurrent schedule the system has gone ahead and automatically assigned this volunteer to that specific job on this schedule if we look at the shift calendar we see the jobs and if we hover over them we see that indeed there is someone who is confirmed for the 5th but on the 12th not confirmed but on the 19th they are confirmed that's because we said they wanted to do this job every other week let's go ahead and go back to our jobs and let's go ahead now and create another job we'll call this one job 2 add it to our campaign And for this recurrent schedule, let's say this one's going to be every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, alternating weeks. Start on the 5th. Let's pretend this one starts at 1 p.m. for three hours, and ideally we'd have four people. So as you can see here, you've got control of which days of the week you want the uh, shifts created for as well as which weeks in the month. Um, and you'll see by the choices here, you do have the ability to say like, have this job shift just every first week of the month or every third week of the month. Or you could even select both of them, say the first and the third, get rid of alternate. Um, and then that'll appear on the first and the third. Obviously, if you do every, uh, that's gonna override doing a, a first or a third. But for this one, we'll do alternate, we'll save it. 
So now we can see this recurrent schedule has been saved. We've got our shifts. And if we look at the shift calendar, you'll see that now we also have this uh, job two where uh, every other week we're getting the Tuesday and the Thursday. So that ends our demonstration of the new recurrence feature. Uh, as I said earlier, the goal is to make it easy to set up jobs that happen on a set schedule, uh, on a, a regular set schedule, so that you don't have to keep uh, cloning jobs using the volunteers wizard or manually creating a bunch of shifts. Uh, this system does it for you. So uh, I hope you're able to give it a try and give us some feedback on whether you think it will work for you and meet your needs. Thanks a lot. Bye.